Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Playwright TypeScript series. In this video, very quick a feature that I'm going to tell you that how to focus on a specific element. For example, if you launch this application, so by default, if you see the cursor is not blinking here on the your first name or business email or whatever. But let's see if I really want to put a focus on it like this. For example, the cursor is blinking over here or cursor is blinking over here like that. And then in that case, how will you do this? Right. So sometime in your application, if you are filling a registration form or a specific element that you really want to focus upon, in that case, we can do it. So one single method, create the locator dot focus method. We have to use it here. So I'm already launching this application page dot go to. And then after that, I'm just going to create one a locator for that. So let's see, I'll create simple await and then I'm writing page dot a locator and then I can use the CSS selector for this. So let's see, I'll just quickly use selector hub and then copy the relative selector here. And uh, this is the CSS selector for that. And just simply use this particular method, focus method, and that's it. So focus method says that focus on the specific element, call focus on the matching element, right? So I'll do one thing instead of writing focus directly here. First, I'll create the web element here. So let's see whatever the element is available. I'll just create that and store it in some variable. Let's see, this is my uh, full name. So here I'll write that as a uh, full name is equal to this. Now on this particular full name, I can apply dot focus method here like this. And after see, let's see, is it really working or not? So first I'll do one thing. Let me just comment it out for time being, and I'll just run it without focusing on. And I'll see that where exactly the default focus available on the page, right? Is it really focusing on the first name or full name or not? So it's launching the browser and you can see that it's not focusing on over here or over here like that, right? Now I deliberately want to focus upon there. So now I'll just quickly uncomment these two lines and uh, let's run it again from here. So now you will see that it will exactly focus. The cursor will blink on the full name here. Can you see the cursor is blinking over here like that, right? And after that, if you want to enter a value, you can enter that. So for example, let's see now I really want to enter a value that whatever the full name dot, and then we have to write this a uh, fill, and then we have to enter the value. For example, let's say I'm writing testing automation, something like this, right? Okay, let's run it again. So after first focus and then fill the value. So exactly it will do the same thing. First a focus and then enter the value. So on a specific element, if you really want to focus, you can do like this. Now really I want to click on, let's see, accept cookies, sometimes delete cookies or accept cookies or cancel cookies. Some pop-ups are coming. I really want to click on that as well. So first I want to focus upon that and then I want to fill the values and everything. So the moment I launch this particular application, I'll do one thing that I'm going to create one await page dot. Let's see, I'm writing one page dot locator and here I'm writing whatever the locator or I can use this. Let's see, get by text. So here I'm talking about the accept cookies text. So accept uh, cookies and then first you do a, a focus on that. Let's see something like this. And then after that, I want to click on it or I can create a separate locator and then focus and then click or let's see, I'm directly using a dot click here. First focus and then click on it like this. I forgot to use await here and same thing await here as well. Okay, let's run it again. So, and then I'll close the browser. Let's see after 10 seconds here. So let's run it again and let's see. So first I'm talking about accept cookies, which will sometime it comes over here. See. It's immediately removing the cookies and then entering the values here. And then after 10 seconds, it will close the browser. Perfect. So like simple focus on a specific element and then interact either it is with the fill or click or whatever you want to capture or whatever the action that you want to perform on that element, you can do it. Simple such as simple use case, use it whenever it's required. And uh, yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you so much.